your children's smartphones aren't making them smarter. As kids head back to school, many schools aren't allowing them to bring their phones to class. Legislation to ban phones in schools has been proposed or passed in many cities and states. Most schools already have policies prohibiting them for non-academic use, according to the National Center for Education Statistics. Parents often question these policies because they want to be able to reach their kids in an emergency such as a school shooting. Yet research suggests it's not just a good idea for kids to put their phones away while in class they shouldn't bring them to school at all. Some 97% of 11 to 17-year-olds use their phones during school time for an average of 43 minutes, according to a 2023 Common Sense Media study. If they're checking their phones between classes or at lunch and recess, they're likely preoccupied with what they're seeing on their screens and therefore spending less time talking, playing or even just hanging out with their friends. One indicator that students aren't learning as much at school as they did in the pre-phone era is scores on the ACTA standardized test that measures whether they have the English, reading, math and science skills needed for first-year college courses. Last year, ACT scores dropped to the lowest level in more than 30 years, according to the organization that administers the test. Sending kids to school sans smartphones forces them to concentrate on what's happening in front of them rather than on their screens. That's another important skill to learn. The phone-based life makes it difficult for people to be fully present with others when they are with others, and to sit silently with themselves when they are alone.